Oh, that's <laughs> you need to look there. through it after and you find that. I need to look yeah. through that. Uh, okay. Mm. But I can look at it on the screen oh, here. Okay. Aloisa, yeah. how did you start working with Ghana SPCA? Oh, I told that story actually. <laughs> uh, you have to be in like, <laughs> tell me in 20 seconds. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, no. these have to be that short. Was in, in is it 204, 205? Early part of 204. Yeah. Yes, I went to the Accra Zoo <coughs> and met Dr. Suri and then asked if there's any society that deals with Then he recommended Davy and then coincidentally you were available. So I contacted the two of you and that was how come. I remember I that yeah. well. Yeah, we even met at, uh, what's that place at Laboni? Laboni, yeah. Uh, coffee shop. Coffee shop, right. Mm -hmm. That was our I first remember meeting. That. And then that's how come, you know, I yeah. started waiting for GSPCA and since then I've not looked back. Yeah. Even though the challenges are very difficult, there are cultural, there are cultural issues to overcome. There are economic issues, there are social issues, and then most of all, the ignorance of society who think that animals are not just part of us, you know. I had a very bad experience that you and me even had to write a letter to what's his name, Dr. Kony, that the National Commission, the National Road Safety Commission, should factor, you know, uh, the safety of animals into their safety campaign. And the man, the PRO, reacted by, oh, when we are talking about human beings, what do you think about animals? And some of those things at that level, such a person, I think, who is working with National Road Safety Commission, who should be knowledgeable enough to understand the situations, didn't. He rubbished me until we wrote letters and then he understood that there's the need for that. So the challenges are there, but I think education, like we are doing with the kids, will help. We have about a hundred or more students, more than that, I think, tentatively, let's say 140, if each can talk to two persons and then convince them, then we'll make great way. All those sociocultural issues will come down. Yeah. Do you like dogs? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> yeah. Uh, Aloisa, do you like dogs? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah? How did you learn to like dogs? Um, well, we grew up hunting with dogs. Yeah. What did yeah. you hunt? Uh, we hunted grass cutters and, and other rodents. So and you like dogs because you learned that they are useful? Yeah, they are useful. They are useful in so many ways. They can be part of your security. Even as we were hunting the rodents, they protected us against, you know, snakes. Yeah. Mm. And that was yeah. very good because they could smell and then they identify very dangerous animals and then they warn you and then they safeguard if possible with the animals. Yeah. And you took good care of your hunting dogs? Yeah, they were well fed at our own level. <laughs> Our own level, being a rural grown and where staples, you know, are very hard to come by. You you, you, you share with them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You don't eat meat now, though. I don't know. No, I started that way back 1994. Yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. Wow. And it was just a moral issue. Yeah. Mm, great. Like keeping bears and they were dying, they were sick, they were afflicted, and I was asked to kill them. Then I said no. I can't keep my own best and start killing them. Because before, when they were healthy, they walked me a distance each time I was going downtown. They were more than 50. So when the disease struck, if the disease took, they, they were almost dying. And they, they, didn't, uh, they didn't want them to go off like that. But nobody wanted to eat any unslaughtered animal. So I was asked to do that. I was the only male among two nurses. So the responsibility mm -hmm. was like Culturally, they say females are not supposed to. Oh, really? So ah. when that responsibility came to me, I said, no, these are like my babies. I'm not going to eat them. And since then, nobody should give me food to mix with me. Okay. Thank you very much, Aloisa. That was great.